We've looked at some of the major new features in version 2, but now let's touch on a few of the other changes and enhancements that we've made to the console. There are improvements to the matrix mixing system. First of these improvements is access to the left-right contributions to the matrix is achieved with a second press of the matrix follow key. And now in version 2, we're able to contribute separately from the left, the right, and the mono buses to the selected matrix. This allows building a stereo matrix mix from the stereo buses. Version 2 also allows you to individually isolate bus sends from the automation. This is accessed from show, and isolate. This means you can change a monitor mix from whatever was preset and ensure that the automation system won't override your new mix. Without the bus isolate function, if we have a mix, we recall a queue, make a change and don't update the system. Next time we recall the queue, that change is lost. Now, isolate the bus, make a change. Now when we recall the queue again, our changes to that bus are safe. A frequent request was to add the illustration of the high pass filter to the EQ view. This is possible now in version 2. Switch to the EQ view and we see as before the individual bands and the composite curve. But we also have the high pass filter switching it in and changing the frequency. And it's shown both the thin blue line as the filter and the thick white line is the composite curve view. It's always been possible to use any bus on the SI Compact as a traditional subgroup, simply by routing the selected bus back to left-right. But in version 2, we make it really easy to ensure that the sends from the channel are exactly at unity gain. Press the ALT key and hold it whilst you press the channel ON keys and the faders are set exactly to unity gain. So there are a few more of the features added to version 2, but there are many more than that. Additional processing channels on 16 and 24 fader consoles, a fully structured file and folder management system, snapshot recall via MIDI program change messages, the ability to operate as clock slave or clock master, more patching options especially for the line inputs. Delay, displayed in metric and imperial units. Filter width, displayed in octaves and as the Q value. Smarter operation of the function focus. Improved fader operation, especially on linked faders. Ability to dim the surface LEDs, screens, displays, lamps, etc a wider range for the gain trim, isolation of the insert functions, press and hold backspace to clear previously typed text, improved navigation using the menu key, and better default settings to further speed the workflow. Before we go and look 
that the dogs gain stabilizer system in a more practical application, all of us on the SI Compact team would like to thank you for watching these videos. A special thanks goes out to all the users that sent their encouragement and suggestions for new features to add to the product. The original series of videos are available to download from the Soundcraft website and YouTube. Thank you.